room and I'll take two, gotta make it out. All I ever see is red. How do I digress? My What's up guys? So today I'm gonna show you how to add a little DJ type scratch to your beat. That type of thing. Let's get it. Alright, so this is what we have so far. Zoom zoom, but I make room and I'll take two, gotta make it out. So I'm gonna put the scratch like right here. Take two, gotta make it out. Make it out right there. Alright. So I'm gonna go over to my razor. And we're gonna cut a part of this beat out. Now I'm gonna convert this into a unique copy. So in case it doesn't sound good, I can just drag this back. And if you don't convert it, it's gonna change the whole entire timing of the beat. It's gonna make the beat like longer. All right, so now that we cut that out and converted it to a unique copy, we're gonna double click it and we're gonna add it to the end of the beat. So go right there. I think so. I don't even need that much. Right there. All right, go to your effects, go to time and pitch, and go to pitch bender. And then we're gonna go down to turntable, losing power. You gotta make sure you convert it to a unique copy because if you don't, see how it makes the beat longer? So if you don't convert the part that you want to a unique copy, it's gonna throw your whole entire song off a beat. So just make sure you cut out the part that you want. Now if we listen back, I'm really not sure how this is gonna sound, but we'll, we'll check it out. All right, so I didn't highlight enough of the vocal. Everything's happening too quick. So we're gonna double click the vocal go back into it, undo, then highlight a little bit more, add the effect, and see what it sounds like. And that is the Adobe Audition pitch bender you can do some pretty cool stuff with it for your beats and your vocals hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you soon with another one